Don't forget to look up our YouTube channel, Outdoor Adventures with Kays, subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay notified every time we upload a new video. So I thought I'd uh, finally have a go at doing the video once again of making the slide bait rig. Um, so I'm going to do it from scratch so you guys get to see how I personally do it. There are many ways to do it, but this is how I get in, um, into the slide baiting and it works really really well for me uh, as you'll see in the video a little bit later. Obviously I'm going to start at the bottom of the rig and work my way up. Uh, there are two parts to this rig as well as your main line um, through to the rod. But the first part is the sinker line, okay? Um, today we're using breakout sinkers. Uh, I just, I really, really enjoy using these, even if um, on occasions uh, we're using sacrificial sinker line. Um, that'll go to your swivel, that I'll show you in a second. Um, that's basically so that if we get snagged up and we hook up, we can bust the sinker off and carry on the fight with the fish, okay? So there's your, your sinker. Um, then from the sinker, we're going to come up to a swivel um, with our, our mono obviously on top of the swivel on your main line will be a bead okay I'm gonna make this up in a second like I said earlier but there'll be a bead that'll just sit on top of your swivel like so um, and then we're gonna um, once we've cast that line out we're gonna make our trace uh, with our livey hook to our slide baiting non-return slide baiting hook um, setup so depending on the um, type of ground that you're fishing um, if you're fishing over uh, really really foul ground you may want to have a little bit longer so that you get a, um, a better shot at keeping your livey up above the the, uh, the reef a little bit of rain coming in but that's alright um, if you're fishing over nice um, sand or just over a mud bank or um, over something that you're not too fussed about, you can shorten it, comes down to preference. Um, that there is going to be plenty long for myself. And I'm just going to tie a simple uh, uni knot. So, one, two, three, four. Pull that up, slide that down, we'll cut the tag ends off later on. And then this line goes straight to your swivel. Is that rain really visible on me? And again, so there's our swivel. I'm going to be just using another uni knot, real simple one, two, three, four, five there. That up tight again, cut your tag ends off. Oh, this is purely so that you get an example of how to make up the rig. Uh, that there, the end of the swivel is going to get tied onto your main line, so just bear that in mind. And that's where this bead will float first. So remember, bead through your main line that's on your rod and reel, and then tie this on. Okay, the next part of the rig is your trace. And a really really important part of this is that your trace is, I, I really do advise using a trace shorter than your sinker line um, especially when it comes to fishing over foul ground uh, why that is is if you're fishing over the foul and your sinker line your trace is uh, longer than your sinker line that means the Lincoln raining. Awesome. It's been sunny all day. Um, that means your, your livey, when that's hooked on, is going to be able to find the foul underneath your sinker um, or in, get into the weed and all of that. Shorter trace for your um, your hook line just means that that livey has a better shot of staying up above the, the foul ground. Okay, so again, I know people that use really, really long traces and they do okay. But um, this, this has definitely looked after me. So here we're going to do the new uni, as we've named it, one, two, three, four, back through, and in the same way the line goes, one, two, 
tree. Pull, pull that up with the line. Snip your tag end off. And here's the business end here. Uh, I'm using a mustard hook because in this area that the uh, kingies like to eat the little yellow-eyed mullet, um, we're, we're putting our jack mackerel. Uh, they also will have a go at the piper. I'm using a nine baru, which is plenty big for those honey kahawai as well. All right, so you slide them through. All right, one, two, three, four. Push it back around. One, two, three, one more, four, pull it up tight. Right, so those are the two main parts of your rig. Um, again, your sinker line, bead, on your main line, then tie that off onto the main line as well, and then you can slide the rig out from there. Right, so here's the finished product. Here's our sinker, sinker line, uh, our swivel, here's our bead, main line to the rod. So this would cast out by itself, and then we'd connect this up and slide it out, which I'll show you now. So. That's basically the slide baiting rig from beginning to end. You now know how to make it, get amongst it. Now I'll show you a few highlights of uh, why we get out there and we're always using these slide rigs. Check out our website, www.slayers.nz and uh, get your own slide baiting rigs, get out amongst it. Ooh, feel like a big one. Oh, that's a good one too, bro. Yeah. That's why you slide bait. <laughs> Fish the top of the water column down to the bottom. And I've told you guys, you can catch Big Snapper, John Dory, Kingfish. If you haven't tried slide baiting, you are wasting a lot of your precious time on the rocks. Give it a crack, give it a crack. There it is, it's a beauty, man. Woo. Take your time, he's, he's, he's coming out. Yeah. Beautiful. Hee 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 hee. Gaff man, gaff man. Beautiful. Kingy, oosh. So you're not letting it run bro or hey? you're not letting it run eh? Oh it stopped its first run. Oh yeah, yeah. If it does it, it can still take one. I'm just trying to hold it its head up. So keep the rod up eh?
swim out to our sinker that's already been cast out and is hopefully really well lodged in the sand and uh, the sun's going to come up in about oh, maybe another hour or so and hopefully with that something uh, decent will come along and about this. Stay true. Sadly, he swallowed that right down. Um, so we're going to take him home. Uh, we're going to cook him up. But that is a beautiful snapper right there. To check out our website, look up www.slayers.nz for all of our merchandise, charters and information that you may need to get in contact. 
with Outdoor Adventures with Case. Thank you for watching our video. Once again, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, check us out on Facebook, and stay in the know with everything to do with Outdoor Adventures with Case.